AR500 steel. That one I think is 3 8 And that one is half, half inch. More targets. Shaving cream, soda pops. We'll see how this stuff blows. We've got sensitive skin one. Liter bottles and gongs. And a frying pan. It's always fun. And golf balls. You can set those out there. And these are little air balls. You can use real golf balls, but these are cheap. Um, you can move those around too. Those are cool to have. There are those four. 490s, 90 degrees times four, one and a quarter inch thick wall tubing. Here, you get 47, even though it's cracked, parts for the shooting target. Got some chain in there, and I've got these elbows and these T brackets, and that gong's already set up with the chains. Those chains there are going to be for that gong there, going to go on those U-joints. I'll cut all my uh, pieces to spec, if you will. And there's the spec up here. I'll put pictures in here too, because I took pictures at Home Depot, all these parts. I got two four-foot pieces of that and some extra screws. 500-pound chain, it was about $1.68 a foot. So do the math there, it's about seven bucks for each side. So it's about 14 bucks for the chains. You're also gonna need one of these babies, these Irwins. It cuts up to one and a half PVC. There's the actual unit right there. I don't know how long it stays uh, sharp for, but so far so good. It's cut, cut quite a bit of PVC for me. It works nice. There's the stand. Um, the old one's 48, but I left it 60. If I want to cut it down, I can cut it down. It's no problem. There it is, pretty good. Uh, it's a three position target. Well, there's a demonstration of two of the positions. So you can have poster board there. Heck, you could even have two poster boards, really. Just tape them together. And then you have your main gong centerpiece there. And then on the other side, we'll have another T bracket. So there's a finished copy for now. It's got two outposts. On either side, left or right, for hanging poster board. Hold a full-size poster board. You can paste targets to it, draw targets. So you have paper targets. And I gotta go get uh, paint. I've been using white, but I might get something more colorful, like orange or red or yellow or something like that.